In today's Private Pilot Ground Lesson 1.9, we're going to talk about an airplane's left turning tendencies. You will need to know this information for your check ride and your FAA written exam. Propeller driven aircraft encounter four inherent factors that produce a left turning tendency, resulting in an unintentional left turn or yaw. As a pilot, it is crucial to understand and be mindful of these left turning tendencies to anticipate and prevent unexpected changes in the aircraft's attitude. The four left turning tendencies are P factor, torque, spiraling slipstream, and gyroscopic precession. P factor, also known as asymmetric thrust, occurs when the descending propeller blade generates more thrust or takes a bigger bite of air than the ascending blade. This imbalance produces a yawing moment that tends to turn the aircraft to the left. This phenomenon becomes evident primarily at high angles of attack, such as those encountered during slow flight, takeoff, and when operating a tailwheel airplane during takeoff. Regardless of when the P factor is encountered, appropriate right rudder input is necessary to maintain the desired attitude. Torque effect is a reaction to the engine's power and the propeller's rotation. During normal flight, the torque effect is generally not noticeable unless there is a rapid increase in power at low speeds and high angles of attack. In such cases, to counteract the left roll tendency, apply right aileron input as needed. Spiraling slipstream is a rotating airflow that moves around the fuselage and strikes the vertical tail surface at an angle. It creates a left turning moment, causing the aircraft to yaw to the left. To counteract the spiraling slipstream effect, it is necessary to apply right rudder input. For instance, as power is increased, the slipstream effect and resulting yaw become more pronounced, requiring simultaneous application of rudder input. When you increase power, gradually add right rudder input, and vice versa. Gyroscopic precession refers to the phenomenon where a force applied to a spinning gyroscope is observed 90 degrees ahead in the direction of rotation. Although the detailed physics behind it can be complex, it's important to understand its impact. In the case of a propeller, which acts as a rapidly rotating disc, when the tail of a tailwheel airplane lifts off during takeoff, the propeller disc rotates forward. This forward rotation can be compared to someone pushing on the top of the disc. As a result, the force is exerted 90 degrees ahead, specifically on the right side, causing the nose to be pushed to the left. It's worth noting that tricycle gear aircraft are not as significantly affected by this force compared to conventional gear aircraft. I hope today's lesson was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future private pilot ground school lessons. And if you're interested in doing your private pilot ground school online directly with me and have me sign you off to take your FAA private pilot written exam, please reach out at chickswhoflyofficial at gmail.com.